Well, hey everyone. Uh, so I want to not do this. Mm -mm -mm. Everyone, so let's make this uh, this uh, troll dancing. All right, so I'll show my keys, and then mouse clicks should be able to see where I move my mouse to, the buttons I'm pressing. And so what I want to do is I just want a rough, I want a rough sketch of a troll. So what I'll do is I'll start with. Uh, I'm going to add a icosphere and I want this pointing to the negative y axis. So I want it like this. Here's the negative y, it's pointing towards me. And move this down a little bit like that. Grab that, go along the z. And uh, let's see, make this uh, scale it a little bit. <clears throat> and then what I want to do, shift D that, go straight down on the Z axis, and this time scale it on the X. It's kind of like making the top part of the body. And then um, do a scale Z, kind of funky body. Gee, this on the Z axis. Yeah, something like that. Let's round it out, make it really pop out. We're gonna do S on the S. Well, how am I? Let me get back to uh, orthographic. S on this along the Y. Something like that. Grab it. Mm, maybe leave it alone. Escape. Grab that G, put it up a little bit so it looks it's got a funky look to it. So the head, the body area, and then we're going to um, maybe we put a small torso. So let's grab this, shift D that, put it in here, scale it inward, and grab it. Something like that, or like that, or like this, and look uh, straight ahead, and S on the X axis, I think something like that works, <coughs> and then Let's do a uh, shift A to do another icosphere and S on the Z. Very elongated like that. And then G, put this up here. Mm, yeah. Shift D, put another one right here. And a shift D uh, right here for the arm, the forearm. Make this one smaller. Scale it on the Z. And shift D that one. Put it right here. And then give him some shift D. Some stubby little hands. And S. And shift D to duplicate something like that. Let's look at it sideways. Um, G, G, that one. So it ends up like this, kind of like a robot, I guess, right now. Uh, how about if we? Scale that on the Y. 
something like that and see what that looks like. And okie doke. And scroll out. And let's yeah, we'll grab one of these. Shift D. Oh, let's not do that. Let's go with the graphic. And now we can move it. Shift D. Like that. On the X. <laughs> that's funny. Oh boy, that's so funny. Okay, let's see. G on the Y. <laughs> G on the Y. <laughs> that is okay. Oh, uh, let's see. What else? Oh, let's duplicate this again. Shift D. Shift D. And Let's uh, select everything, G on the Z, ah, escape, uh, A, G on the Z, something like that, over here, and now we want to get, uh, sh nah, shift A, create another um, icosphere, and we're going to Let's see if we do that. A G on the Y. Mm, scale it on the Y. And a G on the Y. And look. G on the X. And shift D and move it along the X. Something like, well, shoot. G along the X. Well, how's that? Do, 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 do. We could widen up the, the legs here. S on the X. And these right here, S on the X. All right, how's that? <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, uh... oh man, that is so crazy. Yeah, I guess that looks, that looks okay. All right. So let's add, well, <laughs> we should save this. I'm going to put this as, oh, in my trolls. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this one, what am I calling this one? I have some names. And I was using perplexity to generate some fantasy names. Grumnock. The troll. Uh, that's what I'm going to use. And then, uh, oh. enter. And double click. And this one's going to be called Grumnock the Troll. Save it. All right. Let's let's give it some material. Go to new uh, new material base color. And let's go over here and take a look at it. Same. And then these right here. Mm, 
this one, and this one. And this right here, can you, I will do some green. We'll do some green, we'll do some green. And then here, the material, <coughs> and where we want this. So this one is, we'll just call it pink. And there it is, pink. And pink. And then I guess this right here, we'll just give it Uh, all right, we'll do that. And we'll call it light BLUFD. And we'll do this one. Light blue. This one. Blue, and we can leave that there. All right, let's save Grumnock the troll. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these actually, this, this, and then this control J to join, and then I'm going to look straight ahead, rotate it. It's okay like that. G, Z, G, uh, X. That's good. And then this one, this one, this. Command J. And then R, G, Z. GX. There is my T pose. All right, let's grab all of that and export. Let's see, we want OBJ. I'm going to create another folder called Room Mac the Troll. This is two. <clears throat> and export it there and come back here upload a character and then I have a grum knock troll 2 object material I need a folder in here Let's see grum knock the troll And I'm going to grab these two, put them in here. So if I double click, they're inside. Right click and compress. All right, so now I have that. And I'm going to drag that new one in here. I think it went faster. T pose recognized. Wrists, elbows, knees, I'm going to grow in, next,
a little bit better. Next. And he's dancing. Do a little hip hop. All right, let's download it. Download dancing. Dancing Grimnock. Hip hop dancing. I'm going to put that in my. No, not there. It's in here. In my trolls folder. Groom mm -hmm. not the troll. And I can just put them in here because it's not going to make a difference which one it was, which OBJ or any of that stuff is going to be. Now I can go back to Blender and I can hide all of this and I'll create a new collection. This is going to be a uh, uh, Grum the Troll. And in here I am going to I'll import the FBX, which is what I downloaded online on Mixamo, and I'm going to scale and in the spacebar. Do 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 do. That is Grumnock, <laughs> the tr troll. <laughs> I'm Eddie Madrigal. We'll do another one where I don't have to waste too much time. But anyway, I'll make another one. Okay, take care until next time. Do 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 do.